um, so to find true self-love is to find the secret to happiness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's stupid. Self-love, dumb. Because it's like a fabricated idea, right? Unless you're getting up at 6 a.m. and you're journaling and you're fucking doing yoga and shit. You know, you're doing it wrong. You're a piece of shit. You know? It's like self-care, right? Self-care. Eat that piece of cake. We were saving for Nana. <laughs> Self, self-care. Say no to that shift. Say no. So Brenda can have her baby. <laughs> Set boundaries. Set boundaries, you know? Torture anybody who touches your girlfriend. Sorry about that, by the way. So I'm depressed. <laughs> As we uh, youth like to call it. The depression. <laughs> yeah, but my but my depression is like a little bit different, right? It's like it's cute and spicy. <laughs> so like when I cry, I'm adorable. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like I've got lots of piercings and like homemade tattoos. So basically I'm the most fashionable person in the room. <laughs> when it's my bedroom that I haven't left for two weeks. <laughs> but I can function though, like I can function, right? Like I can get out of bed, I can cook. I can't open mail though, uh, online or otherwise. Yeah, so um, it may come as a surprise, just, you know, at first glance, but I'm a theater kid. <laughs> yeah, I used to like, just growing up, I would be feeding on attention like a little feral gremlin, just like, yum, 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 clap for me, clap for me. Yum, 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 yum. I would literally force my friends to sit down and watch me recreate cinema classics. Yeah, like Drop Dead Fred. 1991's Drop Dead Fred. I'd like do the bit, you know, I don't know who said that, but I do the bit where he gets his head stuck in the fridge and he'd be like, oh no, my head is stuck in the fridge. And he'd be like, oh, nah, nah. and then he'd like keep pulling it and his neck gets really long and like stretches and then he pulls his head out. That's like this pancake, right? It's like this pancake. And then he's like, hey, hey, oh no, my head. And then he's like, we're gonna blow, we're gonna blow your head back to shape. He's like, he's like, you know, like, he just does that. He does that and then he goes, oh, thank God, my head. And then he goes, perves up the mum's dress. <laughs> so I'd recreate that for my friends, like, probably something like, like, 20, 20 times, like a lunchtime, you know, for like three years. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a depressed uh, theatre kid, uh, non-binary lesbian, so... <laughs> Triple threat? <laughs> Quadruple threat? <laughs> oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Or is that just redundant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> when I came out to my mom, right, uh, I'd been telling her for years, but she was like, hmm. I thought so. <laughs> Um, but uh, I used to, um, 
I used to write for the Wainui Yamata newspaper, actually. Um, yeah, which it, it kind of seems like an oxymoron. <laughs> right? A little bit, maybe. I would write like front page stories, like like big ball buster news stories, like traffic jams down Main Street caused by a family of ducks. <laughs> Bloody like record breaking attendance at World Knitting Day. <laughs> Are four people. Yeah. 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 Front for like three page stories. Oh, true. Three page stories. <laughs> Selling scrunchies. <laughs> I, but no, the thing is, I asked all the right questions, right? I asked, like, uh, like what kind of material do you use? And where do you source it? Uh, what's the elastic light? Um, I will snap when I hang myself with it later. <laughs> but um, COVID kind of made me a bit redundant. Uh, no, it COVID did make me redundant. Um, well, it, it, at least that's what they told me. Um, I'm still not sure if it was just because they ran out of news. And they were like, okay, well, see you later. That was, that was really good. Um, but I'm not mad. I'm, I'm certainly very, very relieved because I took all those like life-changing, like people skills, you know, and I and I took them to something better. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upskill. I'm gonna go somewhere cooler. Um, and now I'm a sandwich artist. <laughs> no, actually, sorry, I'm a pit packer. <laughs> yeah. So good skills. I um. I, uh, I consider myself a good person though, I think I'm pretty badass, I think I'm pretty lovely, I'm a good person, but when it comes to pita fillings, <laughs> you could say I'm a bit of a bitch. <laughs> the lettuce? Okay. Not toasted? Gherkins and pineapple? No! No! Monster! <laughs> Fucking dirty monster. Fucking dirty monster. <laughs> no. 